Ian, please. Antonio, hello. Hello. Arsene Wenger has today described Chelsea as super favourites. And he says it is Chelsea's title to lose. Do you agree? I, I think it's very, it's very difficult to, uh, um, to reply this question because I think uh, that we, we are only, we played only uh, 18 games, and there are uh, 20 games uh, to finish this uh, this season. Uh, at the start of the season, uh, I think uh, no one coach, uh, no one person, no one journalist. Uh, trust uh, in this team to fight the for the title uh, uh, in, in this league this season uh, because uh, we came uh, after bad uh, bad season uh, our market uh, uh, wasn't good for uh, for someone but now uh, I'm pleased I'm pleased to that the the opinion is changing uh, I'm a bit worried because when the opinion change 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 quickly, uh, you must pay attention. You must pay attention. Uh, we have only six points uh, more than the the second teams and the seven the third teams. I think uh, uh, the way is uh, is long, but uh, I repeat. Uh, Uh, I'm pleased, me and uh, the players, uh, if uh, someone is changing his opinion. Do you think he's trying to get into the heads of the Chelsea players? Is he trying to get into, into your head as well by saying these things? No, I, I think, uh, I think um, the most important things uh, in our head uh, must be to, to continue to work, to work very hard and to to continue to to be focused game by game and to think that uh, <laughs> it's not easy uh, this uh, this league that we are doing very well i think uh, that uh, uh, 12 uh, 12 wins in a row is a great achievement <laughs> but uh, it's not enough to to win uh, to win the league at this point of the season Uh, also, uh, I hope to to keep this uh, um, this run. Uh, also tomorrow, because tomorrow uh, we'll have a tough game against uh, Stock City, and we must pay great attention if we want to continue to uh, in this way. If you do beat Stoke, that will be 13 wins in a row. It would mean that you would be at least six points <coughs> clear at the halfway point of the season. How significant would that be? It's important for, for us to start to, to beat Stock City <laughs> and then, and then uh, to, uh, uh, to think uh, about, uh, about this question. For sure, for sure tomorrow is, uh, is very important because uh, we'll play um, Uh, a game uh, at home against Stock City is the last game uh, uh, and, and uh, I will finish uh, the first part of the season it's important to continue to win to send the right message um, but um, then then uh, as I, I said before uh, we remain uh, uh, after tomorrow 19 games and uh, It's a, a long, a long way before to uh, to arrive at the end of this season. The Arsenal manager also says that in the second half of the season, clubs will go for it. He says it's not wait and see; it's go and take. Do you see it the same way? Um, but uh, uh, I can't. Lie. <laughs> sì, <it did. laughs> okay. okay. um, during the game, this uh, 
No, the, sec the second half in the, in of the season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The clubs yeah. will have to, to really go for it yeah. rather than see what happens. Oh, okay. But, uh, see, I repeat. More aggressive. I yeah, yeah, more aggressive in, during. In, yeah, in but their approach, perhaps. Yeah, I think also in the first part of the season, <laughs> I, I, al I always uh, uh, saw um, team very, very aggressive, uh, and uh, they want to to put pressure. They want to 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 come to to win. Uh, it's normal. It's normal when uh, when you face a team that stay in the. Um, uh, in the top, no, in the top of the of the table, sometimes uh, you have a plan and you wait, no, you wait and uh, you stay uh, more in defensive uh, situation uh, to try the counter attack. But yeah, I hope, I hope in the second, uh, in the second part of the season uh, to to find a game open and uh, to find uh, the opponent uh, open to 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 play. Has what has happened over recent months with this, this long uh, winning run, has it changed your thinking about what you will do next month in January in the transfer window? In January, it's always uh, very difficult to, uh, to buy uh, because I think that uh, every every team uh, think to keep the best players and not to to sell. Um, yeah, but with with the, with the club, uh, we are thinking the the best way to to face the the rest of the the season. Uh, for sure, uh, we are seeing uh, our uh, our situation, our uh, our squad, and then uh, we'll take the, the 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 best decision. But. As I tell, say, I, as uh, I said before, uh, it's not easy uh, uh, the window uh, in, in January. People know that you have money to spend after uh, the sale of, of Oscar to uh, to China. You have a very settled team. You have a very balanced team at the moment. Everything is going very well. Is there a danger that if you bring someone in, that it might? Unsettle the team; it might mm. disturb that balance that you have. No, I don't think. I don't think uh, about this because uh, when uh, you have a, a good group and uh, can arrive uh, a new player and uh, to go into the group very, uh, uh, very easy in uh, in simple way. I don't think. I don't think this. Uh, for sure, uh, yeah, we we sold uh, Oscar. Uh, we have money to uh, to to spend, but uh, it's important to uh, to spend money in the right way. Uh, to spend money only to spend money. I don't like this. Uh, I, I I prefer to uh, uh, to buy player uh, adapt our system uh, that uh, uh, they can they can come on in. Uh, uh, in our uh, in our team and uh, uh, help us, but I repeat, it's not easy. It's not easy in January uh, in uh, in this window to to find this type of player. But with the club, we are working uh, uh, on this aspect. You have Angolo Kante and Diego Costa available this weekend. Do they both come back in and, and start in your team? You'll see. You'll see tomorrow. <laughs> Tell us about John Terry. How does he fit this week? He posted, I think, on uh, Instagram a, a great goal that he scored in training. Is is he now fully fit? Is he available? Yeah, but uh, John, uh, 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 he trained uh, this uh, this week with us, and uh, now he's uh, he's finding the um, the right shape, the best shape. Uh, yeah, but now he's. Uh, uh, is uh, in a good sh in a good shape. It's important uh, for us to um, to bring him in uh, uh, in the best in the best shape and uh, yeah uh, to help us. And is everyone else okay? How are you? You, you picked up a calf injury this week. Yeah, but are you available for I, my my injury <laughs> my injury and are not important are not important because uh, yeah I uh, I have a bit problem uh, in my calf. Yes.
uh, but the fault is uh, uh, Carlo Cudicini and Steve Holland because uh, I wanted to run with them and uh, then I yeah I paid I paid for this because they ran uh, uh, very strong yeah very strong and will this will this restrict you me yeah. no no but now I'm uh, I'm getting better will you sit down no 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 but uh, it happened uh, it happened before uh, Crystal Palace yeah and uh, during the game Crystal Palace I suffered a lot eh? mm -hmm. <laughs> to stay up on the bench but now yeah uh, I'm getting better and uh, I haven't pain but Antonio Thibaut Courtois has been linked with Real Madrid repeatedly late and there's also suggestions he might be off the new contract with Chelsea can you clarify what his situation is yeah I think it's not it's not it's not important to to clarify the, the situation, but Thibaut is uh, for me uh, one of the best, if not the best, goalkeeper in the world. He's working very well. He's a uh, uh, a fantastic uh, goalkeeper. Uh, he stays with us, and uh, this uh, this is the most important things. Um, the other situation for me are uh, only speculation. Um, um. On, on Monday's game, you asked him to kick the ball out. He didn't kick the ball out, but it led to. No, a but goal. he tried there. Eh? He <laughs> and tried. It led to a goal as well. So, what, 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 does, what can he improve if he is one of the best goalkeepers in the world? What can he improve? But, uh, I think in this uh, in this season, uh, he's, uh, he's, uh, he's playing very well, and uh, you keep you can see that uh, is not uh, very good with uh, um, his hands, but only with the, um, with the feet, with the foot, yeah, with the, uh, with the feet. Uh, yes, uh, I think uh, he's a, a complete goalkeeper. He's a modern goalkeeper. And uh, yeah, for me uh, now, uh, he's, uh, he's one of the best in the world, if not I don't want to tell it's the best because uh, uh, he's my player, no? But I think he's a fantastic uh, goalkeeper. Uh, he's uh, at the top. And in, in January, on January 1st in the UK, we make New Year's resolutions, what we hope for, for for the year ahead. Did you do the same in 2016? And if so, on the 1st of January this year? And if so, where did you think you would be today, now? Uh, after one uh, w w one year? Yeah, so so from, from the turn of the year into yeah. 2016, where did you think you would be at the end of this year? And in the, in, would, did you imagine that you would be with Chelsea, top of the Premier League, 12 matches unbeaten? Yeah. Uh, in this part of the season, uh, we did uh, uh, a good work, a uh, good work, but then uh, remain uh, um, six months and uh, it's it's difficult no, to imagine uh, the rest of the of the season but uh, the most important things for for him for the team for us uh, to continue to work in this way and to try to uh, uh, to make a good save when uh, we need uh, of a good save uh, from Thibaut Okay, uh, Liam. Yep. Antonio, um, we know you don't like talking about specific names in the transfer market. Do you think that uh, Chelsea need to buy a midfielder to replace Oscar in January, or do you think you could find a solution from within the squad, maybe giving Chalaba more minutes, or you also have um, Philippe Masonda and Kennedy that you're looking at at the moment? Yeah, the, 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 at the moment, uh, uh, for sure, uh, uh, Kennedy and e Musonda uh, uh, um, uh, went back from uh, uh, their loan, uh, uh, that is Sevilla and Watford, because uh, 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 they didn't play a lot. And for this reason, uh, I think it's important to... Uh, to stay with us uh, and this uh, uh, 
in these weeks to to ev to evaluate uh, the best situation, the best uh, uh, yeah, and the best situation for uh, for them and for the for the team. And uh, in January, in January is not easy. It's not easy. And uh, with the club, we are uh, we are talking uh, about this uh, to find uh, uh, if there is the possibility to. Uh, to try to find the best solution uh, for uh, for our squad, uh, but then uh, also we have uh, a lot of young players in our squad, and uh, I trust uh, uh, on them. Uh, uh, Ina, uh, Ruben, uh, and uh, Chalo. Uh, also, uh, we recovered uh, Zuma. Um, then Musonda Kennedy, we are talking uh, uh, of a player uh, 20, 21, 19 years. And uh, yeah, it's important also to work with uh, this type of a player and uh, to find, uh, uh, to try to find uh, the right solution in uh, at home. Then, if uh, it's not possible, uh, it's important to, to look uh, around and to find uh, a new solution. Okay, All right. Cameras off then, guys. We'll move to Britain. Thank